Okay, we have Melissa Dela Cruz here again, and I am a mess as usual. So she is going to help me out. She's going to actually do a, a fill on me, right? And yes. I have some issues. Yeah, you have a crack that would hurt if you hit it again. So I'm gonna show you how to fix a crack or a, a nail that's going to break. I'm excited to see this. I wanna know, do you have to remove it all? Very curious, let's get started. Okay, from the beginning, we, I used a cover color on her, so I can't really see if it's where it's lifting, but if you look really close, you could see the crack. So what I'm going to do first is push back her cuticles with my magic wand. Then I'm gonna take my safety bit. I'll run it on 12, because I wanna go through the product. I'm gonna kinda go over where it's at, this will lighten it up to see where it's actually lifting and some of it will just flake off. And a little circular motion, not in the same spot. Goes back a little further than I thought. See how if you look really close, you could kind of see the discoloration of where it's cracking or hurting. I mean, it does hurt though, right? <laughs> <laughs> if I hit it again, it's gonna hurt. Where it's cracking and kind of lifting. Okay, let me come right here. See how it's kind of flaking out for me? Once it flakes, don't touch the natural nail with this drill bit. It'll all flake out, go back on the area that's still lifting. So you're just focusing on like the acrylic part? Yes. Because I've had people ask, they're like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that because it's hitting the natural nail. I, trust me, I, I'm, she's doing it on me. She's and you can tell me. because it's still like, her natural nail is very healthy right there. So you're just going on the acrylic part that's still lifting. So it's lifted up to there. So now I will remove the rest of my shine. This is just my top coat. So now I'll switch to my Arbor Band and I'll put it about on the number four RPMs between four, five, or six. I think I'm gonna do five, I like five better. I'm going to work around the cuticle area, baby circles, prep the rest of the nail. And I could see there's a little bit of a lift still, just a little, but it's really thin because I thinned it out with the last drill bit. So this will take care of the remainder of the lifting. Now, what are you doing about the, so the, um, the actual cuts, not cuts? Crack, the crack. Okay, your nail did not crack. If it did. So my natural nail is your, not No, okay. it didn't. Say her natural nail is cracked. What I would do, if it's on her nail bed still, I would extend her acrylic out just a tad bit so it caps it. If you kind of make it too thin there, it could crack again. If it's on the free edge, I like to notch it out, like kind of take my drill bit and put like a little dent in it and then fill it back in and it will never crack again. And then I have one more question about, like you're using the Arbor Band, but what grit is that Arbor Band? Because some people will DM us and they're like, I use a fine one. Is fine oh, no. good or? No, fine, don't use fine. Make sure it's at least a 150. 150 is the best. I wouldn't go higher or lower. Lower is gonna damage the nail. 150 is perfect. Like a medium grid. A medium grid. Perfect. Dust the nail off. I always dust the nail first. The reason being is sometimes when you go in and just swipe, you still have little particles there. So I like to make sure there's nothing there, then go in to swipe towards me. So it extracts everything out of the cuticle and growth channels. Make sure your nail is dry before you protein bond. I get questions about this too. If you put it on while it's wet, chances are it's gonna lift. Let me get my protein bond. I really just need to protein bond the area because it's just a fill and a repair. So now I'm gonna fill her nail with Cover Pink. I'm gonna wipe my brush because I have a little bit of, a lot of liquid in it. It's kind of cool in here so it's not setting up as fast. So temperature, let's talk about that a little bit too, because temperature plays into it, right? It's huge. The colder it is, the longer your acrylic 
moves basically and takes to dry. The warmer it is, the faster it dries and the quicker it sets up. So I kind of killed it at first because I thought it was going to be <laughs> cooler, but there you go. So I'm going to let this dry. I'll file it out and show you the final at the end. Now for the top coat, I'm going to protein bond the entire nail. I'm going to take stain resistance. You can't see the fill line or where it was cracked. Under for 60 seconds. And I'll take swipe. Put a little rose oil. Good as new. Looks good. We absolutely love making videos here at Young Nails, so don't be shy, go in the comments, tell us what you want, and we promise we're gonna give it to you. Also, don't forget to subscribe.